going on guys? Jack here and welcome to Football Manager 2014 Player Roles in Depth, the new series where we talk about the brand new player roles announced for Football Manager 2014, what they're going to offer in-game and how they've revolutionised modern football. Today we're going to be talking about one of the more boring roles announced, the limited fullback. Let's get straight into this. The limited fullback does exactly what it says on the tin. Much like the limited defender that was already an existing role in Football Manager 2013 for the centre back, the limited fullback is going to be the no nonsense fullback. In Football Manager 2013, there was certainly a lack of fullback and wingback roles, so they've clearly tried to rectify come this game. The limited fullback will be best utilised by direct teams with limited skilled players, particularly in the lower leagues. Limited fullbacks' jobs are to mark, get their tackle in, and then pump the ball up to the more creative players. Could be useful with direct styles of play, especially when it comes to hitting teams on the break. I see this role being most effective in formations where you intend to have four men sit in a solid defensive line, usually fairly deep. Good examples of the limited fullback in real football currently include Tony Hibbert and Gabriel Heinzer. Tony Hibbert for Everton does a great job. Unlike Seamus Coleman, Everton's first choice right back, Tony Hibbert is a no nonsense defender, winning the ball for Everton and pumping it upfield to the more creative players and being utilised by their two tar big target men up front in Jelovic and, of course, Fellaini prior to his move to Manchester United. On the other hand, Gabriel Heinzer is an established fullback in world football, having played for Manchester United and now in his older twilight years of his career, currently playing for Newell's Old Boys in Argentina and with a rapid decline in physical ability, he's taken up a role like this himself. Key attributes I'm thinking they're going to be with this role include marking, tackling, positioning and strength. This role is not going to be about physical ability or indeed ability when going forward on the ball, but instead about a player's ability to win the ball and get the ball out. No nonsense defending. As I mentioned previously, I believe the limited fullback role is going to work particularly well in 4 4 one ones The main premise of it being that particularly in direct lower league styles of play, you're just going to simply be able to hoof the ball up to your target man and let him run onto it, nodding it down to the on-running player to try and craft out opportunities. It's going to be a useful role when on the break and when you intend to sit behind the ball. One problem I do think you may have with the limited fullback, particularly if you were to say have D push higher up the field, is your fullback being doubled on up on by a wide midfielder and a wing back. It's a tricky one. To get the balance with the limited fullback, he's going to need support. At the same time, however, D does not need to come too short to get the ball off him because of how direct he's going to be. The whole idea of the limited fullback is to get the ball away with no nonsense, and I don't expect to see the limited fullback being particularly useful when supporting the attack, thus supporting narrower styles of play. D isn't going to get any support from out wide, unlike maybe with a fullback set to support or a wingback role. Instead, the limited fullback is going to sit and always remain in a back four line. This could be useful especially if you intend to play a very disciplined counter-attacking tactic as previously in Football Manager the only alternative you had was the fullback defensive role and in some situations even then your fullback would tend to venture forward. As I mentioned at the start of the video, the limited fullback role has very limited uses. I see it being best used as I mentioned previously with the counter-attacking tactics, as well as when FM players have fullbacks that are particularly struggling due to old age or maybe have a lack of talented fullbacks within their squad. Anyway guys, hopefully you enjoyed today's video. Please be sure to hit like on the video. Let me know that you guys enjoyed it. Uh, next episode will be the complete wingback position and after doing that, we'll have four of the most interesting roles in the videos that I'm looking forward to most doing uh, in the Aganche Regista, uh, False Nine and the Shadow Striker roles left to cover. If you've not already, subscribe to my channel to find out when those videos go up. You can click the link on screen now to go to the playlist for this series and you can catch up on all the episodes you may have missed or not seen yet. And other than that, guys, thank you so, so much for watching. It is me, Jack, and I'll talk to you guys in a bit. I'm out.